how to cleanse your aura and protect your vibe. This is Law of Attraction Secrets. Join Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach Robert Sink and prepare to be empowered. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're listening to this special Law of Attraction podcast, I am your miracle mentor, your mentor of light, Robert Zink, delighted, thrilled, excited, motivated to be bringing you this daily personal empowerment podcast. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. I'm going to share with you something very empowering, a little bonus at the end of this podcast. But first I want to remind you to subscribe on YouTube, because if you do every month, we are giving away three manifesting accelerator programs to those who are subscribed to us on YouTube. And we're doing another contest every month on Instagram. So if you're subscribed on Instagram and YouTube, you got like double the opportunity to be a winner. So be sure and subscribe. Plus we give you good, empowering information every single day. How to cleanse your aura and protect your vibe. Why is it important to protect your vibe? Look at your energy field, your vibration is the only thing that you have to connect to the infinite field of potential to attract exactly what you desire through the law of attraction. If you don't protect your vibe, in other words, if you have a low vibe or a clogged energy field, it's almost impossible to attract what you truly desire through the law of attraction, working in harmony with the infinite field of potential or the universe. It's absolutely critical that you protect your energy field. Rachel and I, a few years back, wrote a book called Magical Energy Healing, the Ruach Healing Method, R-U-A-C-H, Magical Energy Healing. I'll have the link for you just below. And you can order this book. It's a pretty thick book and it goes into your energy field. It goes into cleansing. It goes into advanced healing techniques. But one of the things that I have learned is those people who are unhappiest, those people who are not attracting what they truly desire, who are struggling through life, those people who are sickly tend to have low vibrations tend to have negative energy around their vibe. It's your responsibility. Don't blame others. It's your responsibility to protect yourself from negative people, from negative places, from negative ideas and from negative things. I'm going to give you a few suggestions on how to adequately take care of your vibration of your energy field, because this is absolutely essential. If you want to attract the money you desire, the love you crave and the health that you depend upon. Number one, you really need to learn how to be alone. Now, if you're in a house full of people that may be getting up a little bit earlier, I used to have a client who set the alarm and she would get up at three o'clock in the morning and she would go down the basement and she would meditate, do rituals, read, study till about four 30. Then she would go back to sleep till about six 30 when she would get up and start her day. That was the only time she could find to be alone, but it was so important to her and her personal development that she made that time. She cut it out. She went to bed a little bit earlier. She got up in the middle of the night and she enjoyed some alone time. Get up a little bit earlier. 
and, and use that. Don't just go right to work and get on the internet and all that kind of stuff. Use that morning time for alone time, for getting in alignment with your desires and your goals and your dreams, learning to get back to your authentic self. Who am I really? I mean, life can get so blustering and so busy that you forget who you are and you need that time every day, that little bit of alone time when you can get back to your authentic original self. It's also a time to recoup your energy field to kind of get all that stuff that's flying all over the place and kind of bring it in and get it focused. This is a great time for taking that special book that inspires you and reading it, listening to some audio programs or podcasts, maybe even taking a little bit of time and getting out with nature. I mean, I'm fortunate that we have a pretty big backyard and it's kind of rustic. I can literally walk into the backyard and be alone by some trees. You need to find that spot or that place that works for you. And I highly recommend high vibrational music. Classical music has been proven. Dr. Emoto uh, proved it with his tests on water, that it is the best vibrational music for raising your vibe for getting you focused, for putting you back into alignment, for helping you connect to your authentic self. You are about to experience a miracle. Claim your free 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. Visit www.lawofattractionsolutions.com. Well, number two, why not arrange, schedule a time to take a nice long salt bath. I would fill the bathroom filled with candles and only do it under natural lighting, candle lights. I'd use pink Himalayan salt because it has 84 trace minerals that revitalize your body and energy field. Or if you're lucky enough, if you live in Florida or Southern California, arrange to go spend some time when the beach is not busy during the off season alone and go, go into the ocean. You say, well, it's cold. That's okay. You don't have to be in there long. Just spend a few moments in the ocean. And of course, sun gazing. I think we did a video on this or a, a podcast on this a while back, but during the first five minutes that the sun rises in the morning, it is safest for sun gazing. And this is a wonderful way to clear and cleanse and empower your energy field. Third, I highly recommend that you audition. Did you hear the word audition? Several massage therapists. Now they're not all the same. Some approach massage therapy as if it is a spiritual retreat. Others approach it as if they're rubbing your muscles. It's different. I, I have to say we, um, uh, last year at manifesting beyond belief, I found a massage therapist that literally rejuvenated my body. And I was able to do three days of intense teaching. And I never got tired until about the last hour of the entire weekend after three days. But she just knew how to connect to my energy field. And the atmosphere was perfect. All candle lit, beautiful, natural aromatherapy taking place. Now, not every massage therapist is the same. So I want you to audition them. I've tried two or three here in my hometown, haven't found one that I would have back. Okay. If a half hour or an hour after you have received your massage, you feel exactly about the same as you did before you had it, that person isn't worth your time or energy. 
So what I do is I have a set of two or three empowering incantations that I use while I'm being worked on. So I'm in another world working on myself internally on my subconscious mind while the massage therapist, either him or her is working on my body. And by the way, the two best, and I'm not taking sides, by the way, the the two best are the three best. Two of them were friends and both male. And one of them was a female. So it really doesn't make a difference whether it's a female or a male. Okay. You just have to find somebody that really knows how to connect to your energy field. And that's going to require auditioning a couple different people. Uh, have the massage therapist do some aromatherapy work or raindrop therapy on you. It's going to make a huge difference and make certain that there's some good, quiet music that you're not being disturbed by outside sounds, any of that. Okay. Make this a journey. Your massage should be a journey into yourself and into a cleansing and clearing experience. Okay. Because that's what this is about. Cleaning and clearing your vibration. Number four is get out in nature. I mean, it's so important. One of the techniques, and you probably won't hear this from anyone else, maybe you will, I doubt it, is on a nice spring day or even a summer day, if it's not too hot, find a nice shady tree, a big tree, and lean against the tree. And as you lean against the tree, visualize that you are breathing in through your spine and out through your nose. And the energy is returning back to the tree. So in other words, you are breathing the energy from the tree into your spine, which then circulates throughout your entire body. And as you exhale, the energy returns back to the tree where it is healed. It's a wonderful experience. It's as good as the most expensive massage you will have. Do it for about a half hour. Allow yourself to just relax and go into a deep state of meditation and absorb the energy from the tree. Okay. When you absorb that prana or that Ruach energy, whatever you want to call it, or light energy or life force energy, it's a wonderful rejuvenating experience. And as you exhale, that carbon dioxide goes right back to the tree. It's rejuvenated. It helps the tree. So everybody wins. This is the number one podcast on personal empowerment, success, and the law of attraction. You're listening to the Miracle Mentor of Light, Robert Zink. Come on, folks. Number five on the list. Must do. Clear your home of clutter. I mean, seriously. You know, get rid of the clutter. Get rid of the dirt. Get rid of the dust. And put some nice, revitalized, clean energy. I like some amethyst. Uh, we have some amethyst right here in the office. I think we have two big pieces up there. And uh, what is that yellow piece that we have? Oh, that's we have some nice dark citrine and a light citrine. Yeah, and a big, big piece of green opal right here in our office. It's revitalizing. And then we also have a small aromatherapy uh, cold air diffuser in our office. And we have a large one that Rachel bought me for Christmas in our front room. And we have some oil going in that. I like some smoky quartz because it kind of pulls out that negative energy. I like some citrine because it's just positive, uplifting vibration. And of course, you're never wrong in filling your room full of rose quartz. It's filled with love and high vibrational energy. Wear some special jewelry. And dedicate your jewelry. Just don't go buy a piece of jewelry and throw it on you. 
Take the time to dedicate it under a new moon or a full moon or just cleanse it. I just have some frankincense oil. I cleanse my jewelry with it and uh, it smells nice for a while. And then I dedicate that piece of jewelry. So when I'm doing workshops, I have my eagle ring on soaring high, like a big, beautiful eagle. And uh, so anyway, when you put a piece of jewelry on your body that you've dedicated and put an intention into, it becomes like a magical talisman. It's extremely powerful. I highly recommend the scent of frankincense, myrrh, and lavender together. So mostly frankincense and myrrh, and then a touch of lavender. That particular blend has been used for thousands of years, and it is absolutely astonishing what it does as far as clearing the air, clearing the energy field. And it's kind of antiseptic as well. Number eight, I can't emphasize this enough. Spend time with God. You don't have to go to church, but if you choose to go to church, that's fine. Spend time with God, with source, reading holy books and holy scriptures and holy writings and prayer and maybe mantras or rosaries or anything that puts you deep within yourself in a meditative, connective state with the universe, with the infinite field of potential, with source energy. Number nine is gratitude. Gratitude is so important. I mean, I cannot emphasize if you spend two minutes every night just focusing on all the things that you are thankful for that took place during the day, each day will seemingly get better and your vibration will get higher. Now, I told you I had a bonus for you. And I'm going to share the bonus right now. I want you to learn the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram, the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram. It's an absolutely wonderful clearing exercise that uses the four archangels as its primary source for clearing your home, your room, and your energy field. It's available to you in our book, Magical Energy Healing. You can get that on Amazon. We'll have the link below. You can also go to Golden Dawn Ancient Mystery School.com. And it's there on their website. And you can learn it absolutely free. You don't have to buy a book. You don't have to join a group unless you want to. You don't have to do anything. But learning this simple clearing exercise is truly and absolutely empowering. Oh, I know you're going to have a great week, a great month, a great year. But more importantly, you're going to have a great day today. Pay it forward. Do something good for someone. Thank you so much for listening. And we'll talk to you next time. And be sure and subscribe on YouTube. And we'll put you into the monthly drawing for the Manifesting Accelerator. Bye-bye now.